You are watching UNICEF Television. Before sunrise, sixth grader Yang Mei and her younger brother and sister leave for school in rural Gansu province. The impact of last year's devastating Sichuan earthquake can still be felt here in Sihe County, some 300 kilometers from the epicenter. The roof of Yang Mei's home collapsed and her school was seriously damaged. It didn't collapse, but its buildings were deemed unsafe for studies. We were in the classroom when the earthquake happened. It suddenly felt like the classroom was moving. We all went outside. Yang Mei and the other 250 students at Caoyang Primary School now study in temporary classroom buildings installed by UNICEF through funding from the IKEA Social Initiative, the largest corporate donor to UNICEF interventions in the earthquake region. They've also received new school bags and hygiene kits, as well as sports equipment for class breaks. The school will also soon enjoy proper sanitation with the installation of new toilets and washrooms. Though Gansu didn't suffer the widespread devastation inflicted on Sichuan, it has seen more than 6,000 school buildings damaged beyond use, with few resources of its own to deal with the problem. Through its government counterparts, UNICEF has helped 10,000 children resume their studies. With help from partners like IKEA, UNICEF is also working to train hundreds of teachers across the province to introduce a child-friendly school approach, which involves more interactive teaching methods, community participation, and stresses equality between girls and boys. For young people like Yang Mei, education makes a vital difference. She suffers from congenital heart disease and underwent expensive heart surgery last year. Her family is determined to help her stay in school so she can have an equal chance as her brother to choose her own future. Aren't they all the same? But Yang Mei, she is really clever, and her body is not in good health. So we want her to study. A year after the earthquake, Aid for Schools is helping girls and boys in rural China finish their studies, regardless of disaster or disability. In Sihe County in Gansu Province, China, this is Steve Nettleton reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.